Class Example 2, Test of Controls. Orders for books are placed electronically by Books Limited buying clerks. So I just want to show you that there's a computer information system on sequenced pre-numbered purchased orders. So I've got a pre-number control here and I can put you a purchase order over there. Orders may only be placed with a supplier that appears on the approved supplier listing. So they've got an authorization control here and I'm going to say approved supplier listing. When capturing electronic purchase orders, the buying clerks choose the applicable supplier from a drop-down menu. So I'm going to put down is a drop-down arrow control before capturing the required quantities of books, book titles, and ISBN numbers. So they have to capture quantities, books, and ISBN numbers. So I'm just going to make a note here, input so that I can refer back if that becomes applicable. An error message appears on the computer screen if all of the required fields are not captured. So error message, I'm going to say there's a prompt here. And if all of the fields are not captured, so that means you are required to mandatory field or minimum entry. The computer automatically completes the prices for the ordered books on the purchase order. So we've got an auto control here. The prices are extracted from the electronic supplier price list, which is updated and approved by the CFO on an annual basis. So now we've got a price list here, and I've got an authorization of that. Prices are extracted. So that looks like minimum entry coming straight from there. The acquisitions manager approves all purchase orders electronically. So I've got authorization here by entering a unique username and password. So I've got access controls there and I've got segregation of duties. Manager authorizing. Passwords consist of at least eight characters. So here I've got a size check with a variation of alphabetic characters, numerical digits, and symbols. So I've got an alpha numerical control here. You have to have one of each of those. Required. Describe the test of controls you will perform to obtain audit evidence about the validity and accuracy of orders placed. So I need to perform test of controls, which means I need to identify the controls. And then I need to test that. But I'm only looking for evidence over validity and accuracy. So for controls over the occurrence and authorization and accuracy. No controls over completeness for eight marks. So if it was evenly spread, it would be 4-4. Four, four. All I now need to go into is go and see. I've got controls. I picked them up throughout. I'm now going to look for the controls that are specific to those two assertions. So the first control, I've got your pre-numbering. Pre-numbering, if I'm sequence testing to identify missing is for completeness. But if I'm sequence testing to identify duplicates, I'm testing for occurrence. So I'm going to perform sequence testing to identify duplicates. I must state why so that I can show that it's for the occurrence assertion. My next control, there's an approved supplier listing, so I'm going to go and inspect that there is an approved supplier listing. And I know that they can only place orders from that approved supplier listing, so I could go and attempt to place an order with a supplier not on the list and I shouldn't be allowed to. So I can have a couple of 
procedures to test the one control. I've got a drop down arrow, so it's going to make sure that I'm only purchasing from a supplier that I'm allowed to, a valid supplier. So I'm going to attempt to select a supplier not on the list. And I shouldn't be allowed to. You're then required to capture books, book titles, and ISBN numbers. So, ISBN number, I assume there would have to be an alphanumerical, so I can attempt to capture with a letter. And I shouldn't be allowed to. I then want to go and inspect that a prompt does actually come about when I don't capture all of the fields. So first I'm going to not capture the fields and then I'm going to inspect the prompt. So I'm going to say attempt to continue without capturing all required fields. And give an example quantity of the books. And then I'm going to say inspect the error message appears. Because it's only going to appear when you don't put everything in. So you can't go and inspect the error message without having input fields that are missing. Then the next control. The mandatory field of minimum entry we've now addressed. Next control is the computer automatically completes the prices for the ordered books on the purchase order. So you can go and inspect that. Next control, I've got minimum entry. The prices are extracted from the electronic supplier price list which is updated and approved so I can go and inspect the prices come from the electronic supplier price list and then I can go and inspect that it is approved by the CFO. Then the acquisition manager approves all purchase orders electronically with his username and password. So I'm going to attempt to approve the order using a username and password other than the acquisitions manager and I shouldn't be allowed to. Okay, here I can also go and inspect logs or section reports of attempts to authorize orders not by the acquisitions manager. And then password should be at least eight characters. So attempt to make a password less than eight. And you shouldn't be allowed. And then they have to consist of alphabetic characters, numerical digits, and symbols. So now I'm going to attempt to make a password without one of those and I shouldn't be allowed to. Okay, let's have a look at the solution. And there you've got sequence test your purchase orders. Inspect that the price or that the supplier, sorry, appears on the approved supplier listing. Try to select a supplier not on the drop down arrow. Okay, attempt to capture without the required fields and then inspect that that error message appears. With your order, 
try to book alphabetic characters where there should be numbers, like the quantity or the number, or negatives. Attempt to override the automatic price from the supplier price list, or you could just inspect that the price does come from the price list, so that's the second one here. And inspect that it is approved by the CFO. Attempt to amend the prices and you shouldn't be allowed to. Okay, and then attempt to approve an order using a password other than the acquisitions manager or using a fictitious password and username. And then the two password controls. Attempt to enter a password less than eight or more than eight and you shouldn't be allowed or without alphabetic characters, numerical digits or symbols and you shouldn't be allowed. So this was a nice question which included both your manual and your computerized controls and testing of both. In terms of the questions you can expect to identify and evaluate the risks because they have a computer information system, design the general controls or pick up weaknesses in the general controls. And then you've got to know the controls they need to have for system development, for continuity op of operation. And then design application controls for a business cycle or evaluate where they are weak. Explain how you have to adapt your audit approach if there is computers. And then formulate the different tests of controls based on the question. Alright guys, and that's the lecture.